Hey guys, Stacy here. We grow again. Another video from me to you. <laughs> I just want to talk about pH today and, you know, adjusting your pH and getting it to the right pH and what it is. Um, soil pH. Okay. You can tell your soil pH by getting a soil meter or a soil test kit. And what you want for peppers and vegetables like cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, peas, beans, lettuce, Stuff like that require a neutral pH, which is a 7. So this is reading about a 7.5. If you can see that little dial right there, it's kind of sunny. It figures the sun's going to blare in here right now. <laughs> and this does three things. It does pH, sunlight, and um, what's the other one? Dry or wet. It tells the moisture level in there. So if you're not sure about watering and stuff like that, and you don't know if you're giving too much or too little water, these little three-way moisture meters really helps. They're only like 8 to $10, and they really help to tell you what's in your soil and what's going on. You know, sometimes if we give our plants too much nutrients and we're not showing a response and they're still lacking something that it looks like, and you're pounding them with that nutrients and nothing's happening to them, Something might be off with your pH. It might be a little high. It might be a little low. Um, a lot of rain can make your pH high, and that's in this case. Now, I water all my plants with rainwater that I collect. So that ends up putting your soil alkaline, which is up to 8. And then acidic is considered like 4, 3, 5, you know, on the lower side of 7. So seven is neutral in your center, and you want your plants to be neutral in the vegetable garden, between six and seven at least. The lowest is six. So in order to get, to, to get that pH down, I would invest in pH down. They have pH up and pH down. Now this stuff is pricey. It's like an acid, but you only need a little bit of it. And how I measure, now this is reading a 7.5, this meter, and I need to get that down like 0.5 or a whole point. So what I do is take this little milliliter squirty thingy <laughs> to feed little birds and stuff like that, I guess, and it's like a little syringe cap or something like that. And what I do is just fill it up to like the two mark, which is halfway up this. This is only like a three, so it's about here. And that's how much I put in a gallon jug. Now that looks like a lot, but it's not really going to do too much. So it's going to bring that pH pretty, pretty down for me, like normal, where it should be, between the six and the seven. So that's all I do for that. You know, you wait for a response for 24 hours, then you can go ahead Stick your moisture meter back in your soil, and then you can read it again. The, the moisture meter, the one all the way to the right, the button, you, all you do is click the button back and forth to, for the setting you want. And we're on the pH, so that's going to be on the right for this three-way meter. And that I got at Walmart for 8 $9. It's really cheap, and it, they last a long time. And just clean it. When you take it out, just clean it off. You know, it's going to be dirty. Make sure you're not, you know, damaging these little beads. Like, there's little lines on the bottom of these, and they're white. And you want to make sure they're clean, because that's where your tester is going to be. That's where the soil's hitting, and that bottom tip there. So just don't break them. Keep them on a counter where they're not going to fall or get damaged. And when you're putting it in the soil, you can tell how this is bending. Make sure they don't bend too much, because if you drop or bend these a certain way, they can break and just make you get a wrong reading. So remember, if your pH is high at an alkaline level from too much rain like I said I feed all my plants with rainwater in the jug so when they get food they get rainwater too in the rainwater jugs now I don't give rainwater all the time because it does make your soil very alkaline it brings your pH up all the way to eight so we don't want that you know that that throws your plants off then, then your plants can't uptake nutrients the right way and that in turn gives you signs of the nutrient deficiency. Meanwhile, your plants have plenty of nutrients in the soil. Them, them roots just can't uptake them because that pH is off. So that's very important in growing. So just a reminder for you guys, get some pH up or down, whichever one you need. Get yourself a soil test kit and get yourself a moisture meter if you can because these are worth the investment especially if you're horrible at telling overwatering watering from underwatering like me i always want to overwater and that's horrible plants need a lot of water but overwater is too bad it's really really bad so 
you know, this really helps to tell that. And it tells you whether it's too wet or too dry, how much light, if it's too dark in here. So it really does it all in one for you guys. Till next time, I hope you enjoyed my video and that helps you keep your plants nice and healthy. Bye-bye.